What's up? I'm Hans Kim. I'm from the podcast Kill Tony, and I make out with a lot of strippers. <laughs> that he does. I'm Bob Flacco. I am the singer and guitar player, one of them, for Nether Hour, and uh, we play the after party at Kill Tony. I'm Connor Stevens. I play country music. I have my own band, but I also hang out with these guys because these guys are my best friends, and I go on stage sometimes with the Nether Hour boys. <laughs> you look like a cat. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I'm, I'm really glad to be here, though, because even uh, myself, I know I show up, I'm just a surprise guest or whatever, yeah. but I, I'm, I'm happy that we have Hans here, because I do have got some questions for you. <laughs> Who's your favorite stripper to kiss off top? Uh, can we name them? Stormy is up there, because I kissed her three times now. Ooh, Stormy yeah, is... Out. They're all great, Stormy the is, They're uh, all phenomenal. So They're all phenomenal. Yeah, phenomenal. And, and I think that she world. is... Gentleman's club. Personally, my favorite... To look at is uh, <laughs> that, that Jenna girl. Jenna, Jenna. Is that Jenna. the one with the red the hair? The girl that kissed me with the lip, the teeth. And I don't, she I don't it. know. No, <laughs> Jenna. She's not a good Who's kisser. Jenna? Oh, Jenna, the Jessica Rabbit one. They red. Yeah, the red hair. Yeah. Oh, boy, yeah, yeah. she's got a big old boy. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, she's great. Yeah, right. <laughs> but she's like, she's so like, buck tooth and. In a good way. I like southern, that shit. A southern like bell kind of way. <laughs> exactly. That's you know what I'm like saying? A little bit. A, a little real high. southern woman. Real yeah. southern charm. <laughs> yeah, it has that draw in it. Yeah. It's like oh, a, man. Your are Y'all dry your hands off, boys. <laughs> my, my hands are dry. Y'all need a my blunt hands are towel. Clean. My hands. Oh, yeah. Blood towel, motherfucker. Thank you, man. Yeah, but uh, no, nah, it's been fun, man. It's been a blast. The coolest part is, so the first time we got to attend and play... The after party of a Kill Tony was the time you got named regular here in Austin. Like literally, our, fir- <laughs> our first Kill Tony show was his first. Alex as Jones, a, baby. Or, or it was the time you got oh. asked to be a regular. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So Hans, you've been I don't in. I even remember that night. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> a good I got blasted as fuck. How long have you been in town for? Like a few months now? Five or? months. March 20th is when I rolled into town in the stealth of night in my spur van. Yes. <sighs> did you expect um, all this to happen or unfold the way it did? Nope. <laughs> well, it's like a pipe dream, but uh, it's like you can't rely on it. But uh, yeah, my wildest dreams have come true, and uh, you know, I'm still in it. Yeah, know, man, I mean, dude, hey, it. you're talented, dog. You know what I'm saying? When, whenever you're good at what you do, good things happen, but you got to put the work in. I know you've been grinding. Give us a little bit about that, dog. Tell, tell us about where you came from. Like, where were you at before you made it to Austin? I came from the streets of Seattle. <laughs> Dang. I did mics there five years in my little car that I uh, had for my family. <coughs> what my kind family of car was capital. It? Mitsubishi? Uh, Hyundai oh, something. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. That's what I drive! That's what I drive! Sonatas. But this was like back in the day. It was actually a nice new car for back then. And it just hit all the mics because I have a car, you know? And then I could go around and I could do all the mics. I did like five mics a night. In Seattle, bro. Uh, How many yeah. years? Five years. What got you into comedy? Were you, uh, were you like the bully in school, or were you kind of like picked on growing no, up? That I was like the nerd. I was like the hey. I was like this. Oh, <laughs> shit, that's how you were. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. Whoa, my crack just floated to the top. But it's like, you'll see. What got you into doing this, though? Was it just like a spur of the moment? Like, I know I'm funny. I'm just going to go out and do it? The nature of capitalism is such that uh, (laughs) the workers are dispossessed and uh, disgruntled. (laughs) And then we uh, look for uh, means of owning our own uh, methods of capital, uh, you know. Which is your name. It's your brand. Yeah. You're you're fucking brand. Selling my personality. Yeah. You are you, Pimping myself out. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I mean, do it, dog. Hey, bro, pimp yourself out as much as you fucking can, dude. Whenever you learn how to do that, that's when you start raking in them motherfucking daddy dollars, baby. <laughs> yeah, that's important for survival, but I live in a van, so I don't really require much from you. Are, are you still fucking, are you still really living in the van? Or do yeah, you still stay I have at, a power uh, outlet. And our other buddies? I'm taking a power outlet from Riley Gilmore. There you go. We get to mention it. Shots out to Riley Gilmore. That's a funny ass But if I boy. was in the woods... I would have so many more advantages in the van. Like what? You don't even know. I have a hatchet. Do you have a hatchet? I don't have one in my personal car, but my work exactly. truck I do. Yeah. My car. Oh, in your work truck. But you said exactly like I should <laughs> How have many people have ownership car? of this work truck? Because for me, it's just my van parked out here, <laughs> and I can just go 
that's your that laboratory, sick, dude. dude. That's your fucking yeah. lab. Do you remember that video, that Kai video, the dude with the hatchet? Where he's yeah. like, smash, 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 smash. Kai, dude, you gotta watch that. It's this guy that looks like if me and you had a kid or something. <laughs> Straight up. Hey, no, but on that fucking note, dude, Han's coming up with a fucking true vaccine in that van. I'll you tell you that, the much. vaccine, I got it all. Yeah, dog. I got know, the so Moderna. I'll give you a vaccine the... for that vaccine. <laughs> yeah. I got the, uh... Oh, I remember it. Yeah. Are you After my five year trek through the Seattle mic scene, I settled upon the city of New York. The fair Big Apple. Oh, you went to the, the Big, Big Apple? Made it. Yeah. And then I supplied my craft for three years in the trenches with the sewer dogs and the subway rats. Yeah, you did. That's a <laughs> great description. You're a good writer. <laughs> you are. You are. No, I, um, hey, I admire yeah. that, bro, about anybody. But anybody who's like, good at fucking making words makes sense. Uh, there's people out here grinding out there every night that we see every fucking night. And to me, that's that. Whether they've acknowledged it or not, it's just happening. You know what I'm saying? Like, So I don't think... It's become that yet, but I think inevitably it kind of I mean, is that. We all Tang came Dang here because he's here. Victor Tran. It's calm. Why are you screenshotting my messages, bro? Who's that? <laughs> Who did? Who called him out? Oh, Victor yeah, Tran. Bang, bang. No, Victor Tran. Hey, what's yeah, up, B Tran? You're very funny. He has a funny joke. Should okay. I say it? Sure. Yeah, I'll say it. Say it. He has a funny joke where he's like, Tony Hinchcliffe, if you call me Chink, I'm going to have to meet you in the parking lot. But if Joe Rogan, you call me a Chink, I guess I'm a chink then. Chins <laughs> <laughs> are supposed to be smarter than this. <laughs> they to rise above the liberal nonsense. But we're playing right. Like the liberal conservatives in America are so dumb that you just have to be like one level smarter than them. But then in Asia, there's like levels above like just being smarter than your opponent. There's like you got because we're all the same size. So <laughs> you're kind of big. It doesn't you're kind fucking of, you're, matter. You're a big guy. Dude. I'm telling you. I mean, I had to be. My muscles were like triggered by being in America. I was like, "Fuck." So you're kind of jerk. Why are these people talking about my penis? Hans Kemmerin. <laughs> nah, dude, you fucking kill it, though. Dude, I've heard good things about your peen too, dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> we do run with a circle out here. You know what I'm saying? All I hear is people can say good things about you, man. So you know what I mean? Just keep oh, making good choices. Keep being funny. When does the bathroom break happen? Yeah. Oh, it's online. <laughs> you wanna see it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could probably clip a bit in it's there. Dry tie. Where was it? I was like, Renee Zellweger, she's an ugly bitch trying to, try to get laid. She's gonna be sad a lot of the movie. She's gonna be scrunchy face. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what the point was. Uh, <laughs> Asians see me drive and then I have to like drive really perfectly into a parking spot or else like people are gonna judge me like, oh, he's Asian. Like oh, this pressure I feel every day being Asian. <laughs> Damn. Damn, dude, that yeah, was impressive. Where, where did you do that at? At Jai Tai in Capitol Hill in okay. Seattle, Washington. Okay. Right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, out of the three guys, what's the craziest homeless person experience you've uh, encountered while being on the road? While being on the road. Oh, or just in general. Yeah, go Connor. Connor's got some wild ones. Yeah. Well, I'm Austin. from Austin, so like I would like. Like, shout outs to wherever the fuck You're Tony's at. Austin. Yeah, I was born in Dallas, but I've been in Austin for like 17 years or so. So I'm, I'm uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm from, from Austin. Yeah, I'm from Austin. I got a good Yeah, yeah and so, so like, <laughs> yeah, you say you kind of get it? Yeah, now yeah. I'm in the water. Oh. So what happened with the homeless? Oh man, Tony, well, well me and my boys oh, just like, sun. I didn't really have a whole lot of friends, so I was just like doing drugs in high school and then I got kicked out of Westlake. Uh, shout out to fucking Doc Carter. Uh, uh, like I fucking just started like would go I would go down to the fucking bait shop area and there'd yeah. be a bunch of homeless people and we'd just go smoke weed at fucking Barton Springs. Oh, you were hanging out? I, with I, I, yeah, bro. Goddamn, I, 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 <laughs> I, 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 I was hanging out. Yeah, dude, I was hanging out yeah, with the homeless right. people. They were buying me beer. I was like 16 years old, 17 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Whoa. the uh, goggles situation at? Dude, where are the goggles? Yeah, with the goggles. Oh, that's, hey, yo, that's actually really oh, cool. thank you. I love so, the table. Yeah, so I have a lot of, I mean, you know, and then there's, it's kind of, you know, it's interesting because I see, like, a lot of these, like, some of these people, like, really just, like, 
get by all right. Like I see this one guy named Stax every now and then when I was working at Alan's Boots, and like he would always walk up and almost do named Stax. Yeah, really short oh, guy. And he would just like you know how like you know like Stacks. I kind of sometimes Bleh! like he literally will walk up to you and just go yeah, and I'm just gone. like uh, <laughs> yeah, dude. And he's like he's like so good to see you, man. And I'm like uh, he has right, an Instagram. Stacks probably, bro. At all the homeless people have Instagram. At Stacks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. At Stacks yeah, on the floor. Or at Stacks, dude. <laughs> what about you, Hans? Check him out. Traveling all over. You ever come across like some yeah. weird gutter punk, vagabond shit? Or like... Yeah, I was at the Home Depot in New York, in Brooklyn, <laughs> and some guy gave me a rock. He's like, I want you to have this. <laughs> 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 and now it's in my van. It's plunking around down there. Oh, that's fucking funny, dude. Can. Really? That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so I no, have like, a you know It's sometimes I mean, useful. You saved him from like. fucking throwing that through fucking somebody's windshield, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So he was like, here. <laughs> he was in Brooklyn. Shout outs. Home Depot. Oh, Might me? still be living there. <laughs> Hopefully not, though. Uh, yeah. Mine was... Uh, what was it? Oh, I yelled help really loud one time when this fucking crackhead lady wouldn't leave me alone. I was like, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to scream. And she was like, oh yeah, motherfucker. I was like, help! Help! Your fucking face at the gas station. Uh, and dude, she just fucking got scared and walked away. And it worked. You out crazy, her. Yep. So, yeah. Help! Dude. Yeah, it worked hard. I was like screaming like help us. I'd had enough at that point. I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes I'm out there with a the van and it gets stuck in the mud, yeah. and I need a I need a tow. I need a good old boy, a big old truck. Come on down. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, back so around, just know. Back on in there. Holler at Hans, y'all. If y'all got some fucking trucks <laughs> on you that can get a van out the mud, for real. I've I mean, a lot that's... of slimy reptiles out there trying to slither into my butthole. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing with hecklers, is there any like way you go to go about it? I guess uh, authenticity, uh, just saying what you're actually feeling and trying to match your core with what's actually being felt in the room and actually being said uh, is what is actually happening. And you know, like uh, authenticity and uh, you know, just dealing with the situation as an organic moment. Like we're in a room. There's this person talking over there. There's this other person standing by the door. We've all been in this situation, so it's like just having those that awareness and like using your social strength and power to see how much leverage you can get in the physical world, and you know just playing with that a little bit. Nice. A fucking wow. stellar description. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nobel Prize shit. <laughs> yeah, right. All right. You guys are musicians, so you don't. You guys ever uh, do that? I mean, it is that, I think performing is that in general too. But you, as long as you fucking commit to what you do and do it, like you know yeah. what I mean, like you, like you're good at it. I mean, you're fucking yeah. good at what you do and you're making. If you something. can stand up there for long enough and not have people mad at you, yeah, right, right. If you can physically do that, yeah, that is or amazing. have people mad at you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, so I have a question. What was worst experience, like, hands down with comedy that you had to deal with? <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a I lot. don't know. Yeah, like, they're all, they're all different in different ways, you know? Right. What's, your, what's a very memorable one? Yeah. Like, yeah. some of the worst ones are where, like, I'm in front of a bunch of, like, white people <laughs> that are, like, super, like, proper, and they're like, we're here for a good time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, Sorry guys. Fuck you throw cake. Everybody about a So there's a little bit of that, a little bit of that, this a little bit of that. Uh, you know, like uh, or other times when it's like, you know, like really sad no one respects you because they're like oh are they even there then but no I mean I know you go to the grimy fucking like sometimes you gotta hit those opens that are pretty like <laughs> unexpected comedy that's what yeah. I've noticed like so Dude, when I notice I, when I, I go I'm still a believer in that yeah but then it's that unexpected shit I'm when you just show up there. to a mic and people are there and I think they're like maybe we'll see music and they just isn't being comedy and like 
It's hard, bro, because everybody does what five minutes at this Yeah, dude, max. and everyone's you in that to... same level, and you think that you're better than the moment, but you're not. And it teaches you like how to where your strengths actually lie. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, my. Uh, I think uh, the acid really triggers my uh, jaw. So. Uh, like, Sorry, strip. Uh, drugs. You know. Uh, they exist. <laughs> um, you know, sometimes I go on like drug trips and like I go like in my neighborhood and like walk around and I like, make a fire and and my and the property where I'm supposed to make fires. <laughs> uh, but I live in a van, so it's like, oh, you know, everywhere is private property. So yeah. it's like I can't exist anywhere but by the graces of the uh, feudal lords that occupy the capital. Uh, so I uh, <laughs> make subservient gestures towards them. <laughs> Ew, wow. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Riley. Uh, but yeah. So yeah, I'm just like existing in a van. I'm going camping. So in that moment, I'll purely be camping. I'll be yeah. untethered. I can go anywhere from there. So that'll be a good feeling to have. Technically, <laughs> if not professionally, it's a just an illusion. Hans, is there you a know. is there anything you miss about old society, about like living in an apartment or having, you know, material items I guess? Yeah. Air, air conditioning, towels, um what's the shower situation uh, I try not to shower. Thanks for this. <laughs> <laughs> We're in it right now, my shower situation. We're in it, folks. I can't, man, I love it. Stealing, <laughs> bro. Sorry guys. Nah, you're fine, dude. You're yeah. living it. We're just making dude soup. Yeah. <laughs> oh my. Who wants to drink? Uh, dude. Uh, do you ever feel like you could get canceled at any point in time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying not to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, dude, you gotta fucking just push on through, baby. I feel like there'll be like a time where uh, you can't cancel anybody anymore. Or not that you can't, but like no one will give a fuck. Like to a point where like everyone's been canceled and you can just keep going, you know? Yeah, that's where hopefully we're at right now with us. <laughs> yeah, I mean, circle. yeah, there's, there's no need for things to be getting softer. So it's like, bro, you know, I mean, there's so much more shit to deal with than what people will say satirically to make a living off of stuff that makes us happier, <laughs> makes us laugh. So why the fuck would you take that away? You know what I'm saying? Like why? Why would you do that when there's yeah, you know ugh hundred percent gross. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, it'll be fine. What's your favorite animal? Favorite animal would have to be a goddamn I wanna be a T Rex. Yo, Gary I wanna be a pterodactyl. Oh yeah, there you Rule go. Rule the skies. Mm. Got the bone structure. I mean, there also wasn't a whole lot of a, a whole lot of competition competition in this guy, so you could just like it. My jaws are not working. Oh. <laughs> not, what happened? Did you take? Did you guess? Yeah. Oh yeah, you all did. I, yeah. What the fuck? I, I did just it. Have I, I, I told you we could get in. That's fun. Yeah. That's real fun. Uh, Hans, what kind of music are you into, man? Like, or what did you grow up listening um, to? Um, I grew up listening to a lot of. <laughs> Asian <blocks. laughs> <Just saying>. <laughs> um, <laughs> a lot of K-pop. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> K-pop man. <laughs> South Korean or what? What are you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm West Korean. <laughs> <laughs> nice.
eyes, dude. Palm trees. What's sight? <laughs> What's sight? Behind the scenes, man. What happens? Like, who do you like to kick it with? Who's really good hangs? Joe Rogan's pretty good hangs. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tony Edgecliff. <laughs> pretty good hangs. Both, yeah. I, I mean, would say hang masters. <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, hang masters. <laughs> That's a good one. Well, yeah. like, they occupy a different space and they have to get good at their own game, which is more complicated and uh, less ideal in some ways. But, uh, I mean, yeah. I'm a little. I oh, know. That's the Lord. It's so crazy. Right under the few But I, yeah, I hope you realize that you are well on your way there, dude. You really are. I'm not even just saying that. Suck your dick. You know what I mean? <laughs> nah, you're good, bro. Well, I mean, hopefully. you're amazing. You're great. Yeah, you know, I just gotta keep doing everything yeah. the way I've been doing it because no one will give me $50,000 a year to live just for nothing. Well, you're gonna. Not yeah, yet, anyways. You'll be, you'll be Get fine. on that tour. Trust me. Start I feel like it's just a matter of time and you're going to be set. You're going to have all the I feel you. Where do you get like uh, your inspiration from for comedy? Is it like everyday shit in the streets or on your travels? Yeah. We're all part of life. The communism of it all. <laughs> so try to soak into that as much as possible. Yeah, it's true. Common humanism. And the Beatles aspect. But, uh, I mean, I think that's the end result of all conversation, so why not just get there immediately and, like, get good at that? We could get good at anything. We might as well get good at the, you know, if conversation has a use, it's, like, higher psychedelic talk. So let's, why not just go point in that direction? Yeah. And then everything else can get good at whatever that they're doing. VR can get good at VR. It's true. It really is true. I mean, it's it, you tap into fucking more of your brain. You really do. I mean, that's as easily put. That's as spelt out in kindergarten as you can put, put it. It's like you can you. You're deeper in your brain than you are without it, and it's like it could be taken in a way that supplemental. And I don't think it's bad for your health. You know, I mean, as long as you do it moderately. Yeah. I mean, I think it's something that helps. Okay. Completely. I mean, I think it taps into a core that is beautiful and common, and that's why it's so illegalized. Because they want us to mistrust our core, because our humanity. Yeah, you're right. Do you think uh, comedians, like future comedians, will be eventually politicians, the way they're so good with talking with crowds and being able to influence <laughs> people? No. <laughs> There's always going to be like a divide between like uh, comedy and politics. Well, hopefully if there isn't, that's a good sign because that's a sign of a meritocracy. Uh, but I think the uh, existing spheres of power are too strong and that's like another part of my brain that I don't want to think about. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I want to get good at the part where like once we figure all that shit out, we're going to be at eventually. Like why yeah. stop in the middle? I get good at like whatever bullshit they're doing now. Well, I say wait, we can just get there. Yeah. Do you think crystals, crystals possess actual power? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I think it'd be nice if it they if they did. I mean, did. I feel like if, if you so, charge well, them, if you were a crystal, if you actually crystal charge them in the, on the right nights in the moonlight, yeah, they they can actually moon. retain some of that energy from your beliefs. Dude. I mean, I guess you can tap into it any way you want. So have you ever saved a girl while you're fucking her from the high with a flash water? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's the shit. fucking, that's the shit right there. Baba Saki! You didn't mean the holding and rolling rock, and Death Squad, Thursdays, every Thursday, yeah, that come out. Shit. Yeah, well, I'm proud of you guys. We all yeah, are. Dude, you're doing a lot, man. Is. It's really cool to just like see like how just yeah. like this. I mean, the whole scene's taking off, and the way that you're shifting with it is really just like and and, and the way <laughs> not shifting with it, the way that you're like I'm the like, way uh, you uh, are ruling over it. Yeah, it's ruling like over it. Yeah. So, yeah. If you could nominate kind of um, a next comedian to come be on uh, Booze and Booze, who would it be? Riley Gilmore. No all right, doubt. here it is, Riley. We call upon you. <laughs> Riley's fun, dude. Can he fit in this pool? Definitely. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll be great. Heck yeah.